Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and this is a follow-up to a video that I did a few years ago on showing people how to load additional map packs onto their Garmin Edge GPS cycling computers. Now since then some of the newer Garmin units, the Edge 1030 Plus, the Edge 1040 and the Edge Explore 2 already have access to worldwide maps. That's managed by Garmin Express. If you have one of those units, worldwide maps are good to go. But if you have one of the older units, such as the Edge 1030, 8.30, 5.30, even the 8.20 or the 5.20. This information could come in very, very handy. These Edge devices come with map packs in the region that you've purchased the unit in. So here in Australia, I get Australian maps. If you're in the US, you get the US maps. Europe, you get the European maps. But if you're traveling overseas, officially you'll need to purchase an additional map pack for these GPS units, and that's not ideal. So if you have one of these Garmin units and you are traveling or you want updated maps, here is exactly what you need to know. Straight to the how-to. Now the website for this has changed, hence my reason for doing this video. It's now https slash slash extract dot bbbike.org. I'll put links in the video description below. But a shortcut to get to exactly what you want, there are pre-made country maps available for download. Again, I'll put links below. That makes life very, very easy putting newer maps or additional maps on these units. You just simply need to download and extract the map set that you need. I'll use the bbike maps. You then connect your Garmin Edge via a USB cable to a Mac or a PC, and you simply copy the gmapsup.img into the slash Garmin folder. If you want multiple areas, just rename that gmapsup.image to something like gmapsup underbar AU for Australia, or for example, gmapsup underbar US or UK. If you have multiple maps that you want to load, and just put them in the same folder. From there, you just unplug, reboot, and you should have the new maps. To show you what difference loading new maps on older devices can make, on screen here is a Garmin Edge 820. It's fully up to date via Garmin Express and has the latest maps available for this unit. Now unfortunately these maps are a little stale. These roads have changed a lot. And when I jump through these menus and enable these newly loaded maps, here is what's on screen now. It is a world of difference and a lot more accurate with these updated maps. When it comes to the Edge 520, things were a little bit different because this unit has very, very limited storage. Only around 110 megabytes of space all up, of about half of that taken up by the system. So you won't have much to play with at all. The way to get around this or to utilize these new maps on this unit is to download specific cities or areas only. Website BB Bike already has a lot of predefined cities, around 200 or so to select from, making your life a little easier if you've got an Edge 520. Also on the 520, you'll need to push aside the base maps, so the gmapbmap.img, and rename your downloaded file, so the gmapsup.img, to that gmapbmap.img. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, hit me up in the comments below. And that's it. You're done. It is that easy. Now a few more notes on this one. You can create custom map areas with different tiles if you like using the same website, but I'm guessing 90% of the time the predefined maps will do exactly what you're after. There are a few different map types and options to choose from, but as I said, I use the B-Bike maps on these and they work just fine. There are also other services like this that use OpenStreetMaps as the map source. So this isn't the only one out there, but this one does work and works very, very well. If you do end up downloading the maps and find them useful, be sure to hit that donate button over on that website to show your appreciation. And speaking of, remember to hit like on this video and hit subscribe to be across more videos like this soon. Thanks for watching.